In case you haven't heard, there was a recent video posted on YouTube by a UCLA student with some issues. The problem is these hordes of Asian people. And that video went viral, and it's now been viewed millions of times. In America, we do not talk on our cell phones in the library. Now, when I first saw it, it looked like something from Funny or Die, the comedy video website. I mean, she was too much of a stereotype. Blonde valley girl student, push-up bra, vapid speech patterns, blissfully self-involved and blind to anything around her. Jing Chong Ling Long Ting Tong. Of course she'd be mocking all the Asians at UCLA. Her monologue was straight out of the Rush Limbaugh playbook from a few months ago. And Rush is a cartoon, in my humble opinion. But she was a real student, and her name is Alexandra Wallace. And the mind boggles. Years ago, a student told me that UCLA really stood for United Caucasians Lost Among Asians. Funny, right? And telling. So maybe Ms. Wallace was feeling surrounded and scared and she didn't like it. But why post a video? Why not confession or therapy or medication? But in the age of YouTube and Facebook, millions of people want millions of other people to know what's on your mind. And what used to be a snarky note sent in confidence has now morphed into ready and willing public meanness or a not so funny tweet of course, free speech is one of our country's fundamental rights and a big part of what makes the United States great. And levity, irony, even sarcasm can be powerful tools to deal with some of life's darkest moments. And hey, I get Ms. Wallace's whining about college kids whose parents wait on them hand and foot. Everybody that they know that they brought along from Asia with them comes here on the weekends to do their laundry, buy their groceries. In college, I had to do my own laundry. Who wouldn't want someone to do their laundry? Now, I might be old school, but I think Japan's terrible time is a lot more than a nuisance of emergency calls in the library. I swear they're going through their whole families just checking on everybody from the tsunami thing. I mean, I know, okay, that sounds horrible. And maybe Ms. Wallace was just kidding around. But where's the joke in Japan right now? Is it the knee-slapping destruction? The belly laughable loss of life? Freedom of speech doesn't mean you have to say the first nasty thing that comes out of your mouth or threaten someone you don't agree with or call them names. Freedom of speech is why I have this job and I try to choose my words carefully. And if not that, there's always the old saying that if you don't have something good to say, don't say anything. I'm just saying.